Hello, everybody, and welcome back. There's a stump here. So that we can go back into the past and, uh, see this game that that guy in the cave to the left of us told us about. Yeah, you know, that one. Been a few days, I'm surprised even I'm even doing a video. Apparently this is the arena, the Goron arena. I'm going to have to murder Gorons in order to get whatever the hell this is. Oh, hi. This is the Goron Gallery. Our game was a big hit in Lina Village. Right now, we're offering lava juice to one player with an excellent score. Want to try? It costs 20 rupees. Uh, yes, let's hear the rules. Hit the balls into the target with your sword. Fairies get 100 points. Blue is 30 and red is negative 10. Imps are negative 50. A strike is 50 points. You'll hit 10 balls and your prize depends on your total score. Got it? Okay, let's get started. Good luck. Okay, let's, let's see if I can do this. Oh, shh. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure what I was doing. Frick. I'm apparently god awful at this. Okay. Wow, I'm apparently terrible at this. <laughs> wow. I am not going to get this. Oh, hey, I got a. I got a fairy. Sweet. Okay. I think all I need is a hundred points, actually. Oh my god. Ah. Okay, come on. I need the... Well, that works, I guess. How many of these do I get? How many tries? Alright. Amazing! You win the lava juice. I am surprised I managed to win that. No thanks. No, no, I, I do not want to. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, uh, this is finals week, so I'm surprised I'm playing at all, but I have time. I have a little bit of time before I uh, go ahead and do stuff. Okay, we got the lava juice. Let's go ahead and here. Hi there, buddy. What's up? Don't tell anyone, but I'm friends with a gr famous graceful Goron. Really? Hey, that key looks like the mermaid key the Graceful Goron has. You want the Graceful Goron's key too? Aren't you greedy? Look, I don't know if it'll have work, but if you give me your lava juice, I'll introduce you to the Graceful Goron. So, can I have a lava juice? Sure. <laughs> I wonder what the lava juice is. Let's go ahead and take this letter of introduction to the Graceful Goron. Maybe he'll give me my thing without having to dance. That would be nice. I won't, I, I won't deny it, I, that would make me a very happy man. Some people laughed at my pain, last video, of even having to play that game. <sighs> like, there are some really obnoxious Zelda ga uh, minigames, but this one, this one pretty much takes the cake. That's an introduction from a brother. What's this? Give me your, give me your mer- wait. How do you know I have it? Oh well. <laughs> I can't turn down a brother's request, but I can't just give you this. Dance me for it. If you can match my moves, the mermaid keys is yours. It's 20 rupees to try. As long as it's not freaking platinum. We don't care how you dance as long as you have rhythm. One, two, one, two, three! Alright, just gotta do this one more time and it's not that hard. Whoops! <laughs> Alright. There we go, that's good. This was probably like a game killer, like some people just couldn't do it. I don't remember it ever killing me though. Maybe I got stuck on it for a while, but... Mm -hmm. 
What? What soul? Since the brother has recommended you, I will do as I promised. I got the mermaid key. Come back if you need another lesson. Alright, so now I have both instances of the mermaid key. What g I'm going to I'm going to hold on to this mermaid key for a long time. In fact, it never leaves my inventory. How does it return here? I want to know. How does it return here to become the old mermaid key that I will pick up again? Because I never drop it. Not that I know of. Pretty damn sure. Okay, so let's just go ahead and finally we're done with the Gorons. I mean, I love Gorons. They're like my favorite, but goodness gravy. Level 6, Mermaid's Cave. This place looks a little broken down. Oh my god. <laughs> my goodness, I'm getting tossed around in here by ropes and everything. Oh no. No, no, no! Absolutely not! How... How dare you be in here? Go. Leave. These guys are my least favorite enemy in the entire series. These guys are whiz robes. I hate whiz robes. I hate them a lot. Alright, so, with a name like Mermaid Cave, it's obvious this is going to be a watery level. I mean, look at the walls. They even look like you're kind of underwater. Like, they're a little wavy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Pot, give me some heart. Oh yeah, that's some good pot. <laughs> Although I didn't really need those bombs, I will admit that. Oh wait! More pot! Oh boy! I have my window open, I wonder what some people are thinking outside. Why is this guy screaming about pot? I got a map! Man, I have some pot if he really wants it that bad. No in college! Wouldn't doubt it! Ugh. <laughs> Wait, did I already... Where am I able to go? I'm not able to go up there. Uh... Okay, there's a room to the right here. What are these guys? I don't think they're in, uh... Any other games. You're that or they're just... Actually, yeah, they're, they're just, um... Tectites, but in the water. Pretty sure they were in, uh... Like, the 3D Zelda games. Don't quote me on this. I'm not, you know, the definitive, oh, I know everything about Zelda guy, but... Okay, I <laughs> appear to have reached an impasse here. Whoops. <laughs> Frick! Okay, there we go. Alright, uh, yeah, I appear to have reached an impasse. I don't know where I'm supposed to go now. And that's sad because the game just started. Well, the dungeon. Can I jump over this? I don't think I can. I think it's too... Oh, no, I can! Sweet. Alright. Tell me your secrets! Reveal your secrets to me. The Marauder's map says hello to Snape and tells him he's a dickbutt. No, I'm just... <laughs> what are you talking about? Sense to do savage beasts. That is a hint on how to kill these guys, and pretty much the only time that the sense seeds are useful as anything except weaponry. You literally make them kill themselves. Now that I think about it, they seduce savage beasts? That's just gross. Does this do anything? Ah, dear god! Yeah, it does something. <laughs> it does indeed. <laughs> that was a little close for comfort. Okay, uh, I don't believe there are any keyholes, so I'm gonna go over here. Nope. 
Uh-oh. Wall masters. Or floor masters. I don't give a... I don't give a damn, Mac McAfee. Jesus. It keeps popping up like, Hey, do you want to continue this? I'm like, you keep popping up in the most inopportune times. You're just pissing me off. That's why I hate those guys. This floor is hypnotizing. It's so wavy. It's so boopy. I don't know why I didn't try this in the first place. No! <laughs> Goodness! Oh god. Are they just like instantly... No, okay, they aren't always here. Do I have to just keep killing you guys? Because I can! Trust me, I... Actually, no, I hate killing you because you take so freaking long! Okay. I assumed as much. That was kind of obvious. Boom! Oh yeah, this area. And just bomb this again. Oh gee! I wonder what I'm supposed to do. Alright, so push it on this while it's blue. I'm supposed to do that last. <laughs> Alright. Push it on it while it's red. Um... This always confused me. Let's see here, how am I supposed to do this? Not like that. Like that! Okay, then I gotta make it blue. If it were green, it would die. That joke isn't old! Uh... Yeah! Perfect! So, just do what I did! And you'll get it eventually. That's what I always do for those puzzles. I just flounder around and eventually something works! Hey, Bat. How's it going? Good you can drop in! Oh, <laughs> That was a little dumb of me. Um... Yeah, just go ahead and... Can, can I, like, go up to the top? What's up here? Nothing. Uh. Alright. I didn't think there was anything over here. Maybe I needed to use a key. I don't. I just don't remember. Aha! Matrix dodged ya! What do you say to that, buddy boy? Was there something over here? No, apparently there wasn't, and I was, uh. Blind, deaf, and dumb, and all, all of the, all of the above. Maybe I have to like bomb something. Knowing, knowing this dungeon and its, its prior, uh, its prior bombable walls. Yeah, that may be what I have to do. You know, it seemed like it would be here. But it isn't. Hmm. Okay then. Nope. How's about no, it wouldn't be in any of those walls. Uh jeez. Okay. Cheese! Gee, I have no idea. Huh. It's not over here. Certainly not down there! I'll tell you one thing. Okay, I'll be right back. I know what I'm supposed to do. Remember when I was like, this dungeon looks really old. 
Yeah, there's a reason for that. You can go in here in the past. I was literally... <laughs> I should have noted from, like, the fact that those just look old and broken. Sorry, Mabel. I'm a little busy for you right now. We're not going to be able to finish this dungeon in one video, guys. I know that was the... I know that that's what I did every time, but I'm going to have to change it this time. Yeah, see? Now we're here in the, uh, the past. I don't know how the cave reclosed itself, but okay, sure. I hate these. I hate these enemies. They're just... They're useless. They're, they just take forever to kill, and they're, you know, they're easy to kill. I don't even think they hurt you if they touch you. Alright, so basically we gotta beat a dungeon twice. I don't think it's a super long dungeon, you know, because of that, but... There are some things we have to do here in the past before we do things in the future. hell are these guys? They look like candles. Oh, oops. I said they look like candles. Oh my god. <laughs> Christ. That's a little morbid. Poor guy. <sighs> Jesus Christ. There we go. Get walk the fire. You know, that's really obnoxious that, how the, the, the time signal thing just stays there. I just need to, I just need to mention that. It's really obnoxious and ugly looking, how it does that. Okay, there's apparently another, oh, bad. Okay. How does this cave change so much in the future? What are these... Are these are these monsters just like construction workers on the side, and they're constantly changing it because they're bored? I think the right wall would look better with a door in it. You wouldn't know a good wall if it smacked you in the face. <laughs> I should have listened to mother. <coughs> oh Christ! Okay, I'm not doing that voice again. Let me tell you that. <laughs> Ow. That really hurt my throat. It also apparently hurt my heart heart containers. Heart heart containers. Okay. See this is this is why I thought you could blow up the wall. Okay. This will probably make the wall be opened in the future too, just just saying. I'm just saying. I still hate whiz robes. I still really hate Riz... Riz... Ribs... Rizwobes! Ermagerd Rizwerbs! Oh my god, these guys are obnoxious too. They just take forever to kill, and if you miss, you gotta freaking rewind the shot. Also, they take out a lot of health. It's probably the point. Then again, I can just stand here and avoid the guy. As he goes and explodes safely in the corner. Reminds me of a uh, Homestuck intermission. I really wish I had poison. Not poison powder. I wish I had, like, mystery powder to spray on you guys. Um. Okay. So, what we gotta do here. We gotta do it in order! Oh, Jesus Christ. Hold on a second. Alright, top left, top middle, bottom or middle, top right. I just needed to... Frick. Okay, I have one more shot at this. And I got it! And that will part the seas. Or just the room. Either or. Well, like, we can't do anything there. Hey, buddy! Tell me a tale. Beware deep waters. Oh, shit, I don't care about- Oh, 
But that owl was right. <laughs> five bucks to anyone who can tell me what that's from. Except I won't give you five dollars. I'll just laugh at you if you find me and try and get currency. Be like, hey, uh, that was from, um, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I'll just laugh. Po mostly because that's wrong. <laughs> but, you know. This is a big old room, ain't it? Okay. Oof. I got a dungeon map. It's a cool map. It, it has a dungeon on it. I might as well just have these guys kill me. If anything, it'll shut up the noise. I mean, it's not like I'm going anywhere. I have to go back to the beginning of the dungeon anyway. I wonder if I have to kill the boss, like, twice. I don't remember how this dungeon works. <laughs> this is, like, the only dungeon that uses time travel as a mechanic. Also, that would explain why I need both keys. I, I thought for a second, like, the only reason I needed the, uh, the old key was so that I could actually just... I thought the only reason I needed the old key was so that I could get the new key from the dude, because he wouldn't let me have it without it or something. I don't know. Does it look like I know what I'm doing? Tell me, do I look like a guy who knows what, who knows what the hell he's doing? Just, just throwing that out there. I'm going to die. Apparently not! I got a new lease on life! And it cost me an arm and a leg, but it's a lease nonetheless, and I will take all I can get. <laughs> I screwed up my lease on life. I decided to ruin it by gambling. And then, gambling and drinking, and then I lost all my money. And the whiz robe came and stole my house away from me. And now I'm out on the street again. But I'm trying again! I got a new lease on life! Once more! Will the will the whiz robe repo man come and kill me once more? Oh, jeez. He smacks me across the face, but I got him! I got him in the end! Oh, gee, do I actually have to use the cane of sombreros again? Wait, what is it called? <laughs> Samari. Okay. The cane of sombreros! Okay, so what I gotta do... What you gotta do... Absolutely must. Apparently, push hearts out of pots. That'll work. That'll learn them. Alright. Oh gee. Bombable stuff. Oh, I hate... Hate, 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 hate Floor Masters. Thank you, Kefka. Appreciate it. Pretty sure these guys, if they hit you, you, like, can't use your sword. Pretty sure that's what these guys are. Uh, oh, great, so I gotta just, like... Yeah, thanks. I had absolutely no idea. What am I supposed to do here? Wait. Yeah. Yeah, you're not gonna make me waste all my bombs. I may have a lot of bombs now, but I'm not about to just throw them willy-nilly. Nilly-willy. That felt like a waste of time. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Hey, sweet. Alright. Feels like it's just there, because they're like, hey, we had this, and we wanted to use it again. <sighs> well, I gotta backtrack all through it, because there's nothing we can do here. So, <laughs> McAfee! I don't care! <laughs> Jesus! I mean, I could just say, yes, please, and then it would always leave me alone, but... That would be actually smart, and obviously, that's not what I'm going for here. Obviously. Obviously. How many, how many times do I have to say it to get you to understand? One. One time. Two. Two times. Ah, ah, ah. Three. Three times.
times. Ah. 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 I'm hilarious. I'm a Ryan and a half. <laughs> Kids see me. They're like, hey, Mr. Marzen, tell us a joke. And I'm like, how many friend zone boys does it take to screw in a light bulb? None. They just compliment it and get pissed off and leave when it won't screw. Ha! <laughs> okay, I'll stop. We can go to the right now. Hey, look, the candle people are still here. They've just uh, formed a small community away from... They, they have been pushed out, most of them slaughtered in the form of small forest fires. And uh, so they've been pushed into a small community in an old blown out room. Oh, jeez. Now this thing is terrifying. This thing is flat out terrifying. And I'm going to have to use Pegasus Seeds. Whee! Ah! <laughs> that thing is terrifying. Okay. But I got it! I got it! There's really no reason to be over there. Ugh. All this yelling is really hurting my throat. I need a water. I need a beer. I specifically need a beer. I found the compass. I legitimately need a beer. <laughs> Legitimate. Most people are like, what the frick are you talking? I think Matt has lost. Marson has lost his mind, guys. My name's not Matt. It's Marson Kafka. Okay, who the hell am I kidding? I just everyone calls me Matt these days. No one calls me Marson. Even people on the innerbots. Even Sadface calls me Matt. Rebecca especially calls me Matt. She does it on camera. Bro! Okay. There we go. Thank you. I appreciate your help. Jeez. Well, uh, looks like I'm gonna have to waste this key. And by waste, I mean use it to beat the level. Boof. Hey there, buddy. Wanna know I can kill you? You are a mummy. You are made of paper. You are now a skeleton, and are not. But you are much easier to kill as such. Boop, 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 boop! Okay. I'm stumped! Give me a hint! Test your luck. Oh, I just got a pull. Okay. <sighs> Right is my favorite uh, direction, but of course it screwed me over. I choose right again. Oh, I I can't if the ropes are still here. Okay, there we go. I got the boss key. That's pretty early in the dungeon to be getting the boss key, don't you think? Apparently, it's shaped like a. Oh, I guess that's supposed to be a mermaid. Looks like a dolphin. I don't know. My nose is getting clogged up. I hate that. I hate this. I hate this, says Data. That's something I need to watch more of. Whoop! I was need to watch Doctor more of Doctor Who. You guys should too. <laughs> Can't catch me! I'm the rock fret feather man. That was, that was much better in my head. Ow. My everything. Do a dance! Do a dance! <laughs> and I will always love you! I don't know where the hell I came from. Uh, oh yeah. Cane of Sombrero. Lead the way. Lead the way! If I don't name this episode Cane of Sombrero, I will be disappointed in myself when I rewatch this. I'm probably gonna name it something like, uh, the Mermaid Cave. Because I don't remember what I do, like, five seconds after I do it. Not five seconds. Thirty minutes after I do it.
Riveting! Oh, hey, bro. Uh... Go on here, I guess. I don't know where else I'm supposed to go. I'm pretty sure I opened up... Oh yeah, because I bombed open stuff. I, I'm going to suppose that they, it is now open for me to explore. That would be, uh... Nothing up here, I believe. Nope. Nothing on my sleeve! Uh, my voice crack! Hi, guys! I'm back! Oh yeah, this is the room. Okay. Oh, jeez. Who... who... who added in these things? Who was like, you know, this dungeon's alright, but someone beat it in the past, so we need you to go back and put in more spinny wheels. And, and the construction worker monsters are like, but that will cost all of our budget. And the guy's like, I don't care. Are you monsters or aren't you? And they're like, yes, we are. And then, yeah. And then a legend was born. And Link was like, god damn it, I hate these things. So, of course, victorious. <laughs> I'm so freaking Okay, I'm supposed to get that, which means I believe I'm supposed to go down here. But I'm really not 100% sure on that. Oh. oh, apparently I was right. I got a key. That is not something I needed. Exactly. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? Now I gotta go right. In order to do that, do I have to... No, I just have to walk. I was like, do I have to use a key? Please tell me I have to use a key. I need this to be useful. Okay, uh... Well... Alright! It looks like, uh... Looks like it's the end of the road! Actually, you know, I think I will do all this in one video in one... I will do all of this video in one dungeon, guys! Just watch me do it. The wood will be sword. Oh, hey, I can break these. Okay. Right. I forgot about that. Considering how the wood is no longer sword, I can break those. And, uh, it won't break the sword in the process of attempting. I almost said attemption. I was like, that's not a word. Mini boss! I am Vire, Varen's loyal henchman. I heard someone was trying to stop Varen, so I came here. It was just some kid. Fine, I can handle you. Oh, it's Vire. You guys remember the Vire. He was actually in many games. Uh, he was in the last one as just like an enemy. Ouch, pesky kid, take this! Take what? He's a little obnoxious in this one. Ow. Okay, buddy. How did I hit you in the first time? Did I just get lucky? Bully, that's it. I'm serious. Alright. Oh, so I can take this time now to, uh, talk about- Remember when I was, like, talking about the different kinds of time travel? And, like, that this game has implements of both? Okay, well... So, in the last video, it had it where- There we go, okay. In the last video, it had implements of, like, we took the- We gave the Gorons, um... Face to the dude. But he had already- he already had it in the future. Ouch! I paid for my overconfidence, but I'll report this to Varen. Gah, har, har, har. The, the guy already had it in the future. I'm pretty sure, didn't he? Wait, no, the guy- wait, hmm. uh, uh, Yeah, the guy already had it in the future, because we took it from the dude in the future and gave it to the dude in the past. Yeah. So, this is obnoxious. At 
Blues do have a lot of tries. I'm pretty sure this is the way you do it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. This probably isn't the way you do it, is it? This probably isn't the way you do it, is it? No. But, okay, so, you gave it to the dude in the past, and, uh, the, I mean, he already had it in the timeline. But, why, then, is there a way to just shoot this along? No. But then why, if the... Why do I... Why are the holes in this dungeon not already blown up when I'm here in the future, then? If I blow them up in the past? You can't have it both ways, game! It doesn't work like that! T time travel is not your bitch, okay? You can't just mess around with it all the time. Just like, I want you to do this? Okay, now I want you to do it this way. You can't have it both ways! Like, don't get me wrong, I love this game. But, there are good ways to use time travel, and there are ways that just make no sense when you actually think about it. This is one of those ways. Okay, so we have the mermaid's tail, which means we can actually go in deep water. And this is always awkward, because, like, you move like a fish, you have to... You, you can't hold right to go right. You have to keep pressing the button, which, I have to admit, on a keypad is way easier. Excuse me, keyboard. On a keyboard is way easier. But well, it's also a little annoying, because sometimes you forget, you're like, Link, why aren't you moving? Link, stop. I don't want to, I don't want to meet you here. Here is a bad location, because it'll all just fly out onto the mountain. Yeah, like, right there, I forgot. Again. It's just obnoxious. Alright, level 6 Mermaid's Cave. Okay, so there's a few uh, places we can go in here now. First, I'm going to go to the right. We already have the boss key, so no need to worry about that. But there's still some stuff we need to do here. Like, apparently, murder these guys again. I thought I called you last time, fools! <laughs> you will all perish through the flames of despair. Isn't that like the... No, that, that's Baron. Okay. <laughs> like, isn't that the dude from the next one? But I'm pretty sure his isn't despair. His is... I don't remember what his is. Varen is despair, and the other guy is something. I like the effect that it has here. That's... <laughs> Excuse me. This looks a little familiar. Just a tiny bit. It's an obnoxious noise when you swim, too. Bloop, 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 bloop. I like how this entire underwater, I mean, this entire section is underwater. Hey, ropes! What the hell are these snakes doing underwater? I guess there are underwater snakes, technically. Okay. But they don't look any different from the kind that don't go underwater. And then again, who knows? Maybe those do. Maybe they're amph amphibious snakes. Those blocks are so unbelievably useful here in the past. Just take it from me, your friendly neighborhood link. Your man. Where the, what's even the point? What is even the point? Okay. Well, I guess just that they're there to give you health, I guess. I don't know. Wait, isn't in the future, in the future, isn't it just one full mermaid? So then what happened? Did it, did it just... rise up? <laughs> did, did, I... What happened in the years? They were like, you know, 
It was kind of cool for a while how, like, part of it was down deep into the earth and also underwater. But, no, I want it raised and I want it drained. But, sir, that's, like, really difficult to do. Make it so, number one! And so they did. I just sliced that arrow right out of the air. I am badass. I have a final in 30 minutes. <laughs> uh, I have to murder you guys? Wait, no I don't. You guys can live for now. You will be called later, trust me. <laughs> I'm going to go back into this dungeon just to kill you later on when I don't have a final. I have to finish this, like, as quickly as possible. I'm just going to ignore you, because you're a douche. Wait, yeah, I can just break you guys. I don't even need... I don't even need it! I don't even... Need it. It's basically useless at this point, too. I have to make sure not to break that pot. Okay. No health! Yeah. That health was totally necessary. I will not! You shall not pass! That's the line, right? From the movie The Hobbit 2. And again, it's from the same dude. Tell me where that's from. If you know what that's from, you know where the other thing was from, and I don't remember what the other thing was, so don't even ask. You'll have to go back in the video and look it up. That's the problem when I tell people, like, Hey, answer this, and then they do. And, like, a week later, I'm like, What the hell are you talking about? Wait. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Yes, Mars. Anyway. I got 30 rupees. That's nice. Ah! That hurt! Must swim against current, because why not? Oh, I can't use my sword down here. It's a little unfortunate. Am I able to... I'm pretty sure I'm able to use the... Yeah. That's how you kill things. Why am I able to use this and not the sword? How does that make sense? Well, for this puzzle, I assume. Otherwise, this puzzle would be impossible and really annoying to everyone. They're like, you, you gave me a puzzle that requires something I can't use. This game is obviously broken. Seven out of eight. Seven out of... Mm, pie. Game facts. IGN. Marzen? Yeah. Yeah, Marzen. You heard me! You heard me. Don't even lie. I can see it in your eyes! Why do you close your eyes when we make love? Open up the chest. Open up the chest, bro. There we go. Okay, we have uh, not explored every location. I do not think we can use bombs underwater. But then again, I can use stretchy extendy thingy. Extretchy extendy. Yes. Well, who knows? Maybe we can. You know what? I'm not even gonna bother going over there. Um, because apparently they're just freaking out and going every which way. Can I seriously bomb this? No, I can't. What do I do? Do I drain it later? I don't even know. I'm just gonna go over here. It's kinda cold in my room all of a sudden. Okay, so I gotta shoot this at an angle. Not like that. Alright! Can of Sombrero! 
You will save solve all my you will save all my troubles once more. Not like that, you won't. Frick. There we go. Okay, no. First, first of all, no. Second of all, uh, no. Third of all, um, no. There we go. I don't know why that one registered and the other did. Whoops. Boss time! I don't know what that last room... Oh, I know what that last room was all about. Okay, never mind. I'm not entirely sure how to beat this guy. Oh, that's how. Okay. Just gotta keep hitting him before he hits you. Oh. You know what? I'm just gonna break these. Because they're in my way. Ah, this is... Um, well, it gave me these scent seeds, so does that mean I have to use scent seeds? Apparently not. Oh, I can swim underwater, right. Apparently now I can use the sword underwater and die. Look at this guy scuttle around. Oh, that is unfortunate. Oh no! I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I just had to go ahead and Go ahead and hurry my rumpus over here. Whoop! I decided to do that off screen because you don't want to watch that. Not again. Never again. I don't know why that first one didn't take, but okay. Now, this guy's not that hard, I guess. He just hit a lot. He hit hard last time. Okay, now you gotta go underground. Uh, underground. Whoops. Wow, he just guns for you. Oh. Okay, apparently, if the sword's in that slot, it cannot be used. That is what's wrong. God, crap, man. Calm your carapace. That carapace needs to be calm. It's, it's too extreme for me. We, we just can't do this, it's too extreme. I'm sorry, I love you, but we have to we have to let it go. So, I'm sorry. And I got his heart as a reward for breaking it. Let's go ahead and finish this level because God is this video long. Who ordered a 50 minute long Zelda episode? I did. Rift Peak in essence of time. It is a proud lonely spirit that remains stalwart even in trying times. Good to know. Thanks. So we got two more to go. Whew. Jesus. I don't know why it suddenly turned to this. Is that because we're like in the past? I guess. Mark, I have great news. Queen Ambi has just left the palace. Now's your chance. This may be your only opportunity to save Nehru. Uh oh. So we have to save Nehru in the next episode of Let's Play Oracle of Ages. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.